Welcome to This is Douglas County. I'm your host, Rick Martin. For this holiday season, we wanted to take an inside look into the hearts of some of the people who serve and help Douglas County operate as a government and community. We spoke to leaders who served the city of Douglasville and Douglas County, asking what this holiday season means to them. When we began this project, our purpose was to give everyone invited a chance to stop and reflect. The experience was inspiring, thought-provoking, and wonderful. And while watching the show, we hope you feel the same. What does this holiday season mean to you? For some, it can have a religious meaning, as the birth of a savior, while for others of the Jewish faith, it can represent Hanukkah, or the Festival of the Lights. For those of African descent, it can represent the holiday of Kwanzaa that celebrates their heritage. For me, it not only represents the birth of a savior, but an opportunity to serve a community by finding ways to help facilitate communications you need in all facets of county government here in Douglas County. We hope after you watch this unscripted look into what the holiday season means to our guests, you take a moment and ask yourself, what does the holiday season mean to you? Enjoy. The holiday has various meanings uh, for me. I love the holiday season. It is such a festive time. It's a time of celebration, a time of rejuvenation in my life. And also, I think it is family time. All of us should just take time and uh, bond and be with one another. Lots of good food and uh, excitement. Uh, I love uh, holidays, particularly if it's snow. I love snow, uh, just for the ho holidays only. But uh, it has so many meanings. It's a time of peace, a uh, time of serenity, a time of comfort, love, and togetherness. This holiday season is such a blessing. It really is a time when people bring out their best because they're happy, they're receiving and giving gifts. But the season for me is that Jesus is the reason for the season because of the gift that he's given to us uh, being coming into this world and giving his life and showing servanthood, it really helps me to be a servant in the city of Douglasville and to the community. And um, this season also means for people that live in the city or the county or adjacent communities that we're all together. We're just family, we're one community. And so I love this time of year seeing all of the lights and smelling good food and not forgetting about my diet, just forgetting about everything but having fun with family and friends. And so it's a time of love and joy. I love this time of year. It's the best time of the year. The first thing that comes to mind is Jesus Christ. Uh, we just can't forget that Thanksgiving is giving thanks to God and it's also celebrating the incarnation of our Savior, Jesus, when He came into the world as both uh, human and God, and that's the Christ and Christmas. So that's the first thing that comes to mind when you ask me the question. And what else, of course, comes to mind is family and friends and fellowship and happiness and gift giving. Uh, as you know, um, I lead Operation Christmas here in Douglas County, and we anticipate serving between eight and 10,000 children on December 15th. And I guess gift giving has just always been a part of my DNA. Uh, my mother always made Christmas special for myself and my sister. And both my parents are deceased. And another thing I guess that you think of uh, during a holiday season is the folks who aren't there. 
and that's when you reflect a little bit about who you are and where you came from and who made you. The holiday season means time to spend with family and friends. There's nothing more precious than having that kind of support. Not everyone has that. It's important for us in our community to reach out to those who are isolated because the holiday season brings them a great deal of heartache. Not everyone is blessed with a family with abundance, a family with love, and a family that engages in healthy relationships. So please remember those who are alone and please enjoy a joyous season. Well, this is my favorite time of the year. Um, starting with Thanksgiving and through Christmas um, is my absolute favorite time. And the reason why uh, it's my favorite time is because it's the time that I get to spend uh, a great deal of time with my family. I have an extremely large family and it's always meant uh, a lot to us uh, to spend time together. And so I know that it's the time that um, we'll get together, we'll laugh, um, we'll play, um, there will be a lot of good food. Um, but one of the things that really struck me this holiday, I have a, a six-year-old and an 11-year-old, um, and I know this is the time that usually uh, people are thinking about uh, gifts um, and spending time with family uh, and just having a really great time. Uh, my 11-year-old uh, this year uh, started her holiday list early uh, and placed it up on the refrigerator. And I was looking at her Christmas list and at the top of her list, uh, one of the things that she wanted to do this holiday season uh, was to serve uh, at a food pantry. Uh, and it struck me that um, that was one of the things on her Christmas list because for most kids, especially an 11 year old, uh, that's not something that they would be asking for for Christmas. Um, but it made me think about how much uh, the holiday is about other people as well. Uh, those who aren't as happy during the holiday, who may not have family to share the time with, and that really kind of brought me back this holiday season. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this Christmas uh, to serving at at uh, a food pantry or uh, giving back to the community in some way with my daughter um, by my side, um, making one of her wishes come true that she wanted to do this, uh, this Christmas. Christmas is a time to spend with family and friends and to celebrate the birth of uh, Jesus Christ. I usually cook breakfast at my house for my family, my parents, my wife's parents on Christmas morning. It means family to me. It means get together. It means enjoying your family. It means swapping gifts. But it also means an extra load on the sheriff's office. We have to patrol more homes. We have to keep the shopping centers cleared and work tremendous amount of traffic. But in the end, at the end of the day, it's still holiday time in Douglas County. I hope each and every one of them enjoys it. Well, it's a special time of the year. It gives me uh, an opportunity to reflect on uh, what's gone on the previous year. It's a great time to think about the special gift that our Lord God sending His Son uh, this time of the year to think about the love of the season. Uh, and it's a time for us to show that charity, that love to our families, our friends, our neighbors in the community. Uh, and it's just a special time to be able to, to do those kinds of things and to think about uh, how we are all to treat each other. Uh, sometimes in our lives we get really busy and we don't take the time to think about helping out our neighbor or what someone has done for us, a sacrifice they've made. Uh, and this is a time of the year to kind of go back and reflect and think about the things that others have done for us and, and the charity that we can show to others in our, uh, our family and in our community. Well, anybody who knows me knows that the holiday season, it's magical for me. It's my, it's my favorite time of year, absolutely. As soon as we put the jack-o'-lanterns away, I'm ready to go with it. It's, uh, on a personal level, it, it, it's spiritually very meaningful because it's when we celebrate the birth of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But 
beyond that, it's a time for family and friends to come together with the people that you love, people that you care about. Even our community seems to come together and take care of people. Wish we could emulate that behavior all year. But for me, it goes all the way back to my childhood. Growing up in Cabbage Town in Atlanta, we didn't have a lot. But still, that time of year was magical. It's like the only time of year I can remember really being at peace, not being in fear. That whole peace on earth, goodwill towards men thing felt very literal to me as a child. You know, because even at that point, I felt even the bad guys were celebrating Christmas somewhere. Just felt like everybody was in a good mood and everybody was doing good and caring about each other. With things going on in society today, I miss that feeling. But it's a, it's a magical time for me and I'm really enjoying it with my boys. I have twin 12-year-old boys and that's just made the magic grow exponentially. So I just love this time of year. It's a time when we all seem to find a way to come together, something we should be doing year round. On behalf of the chairman, the board of commissioners, and my staff here at the Communications and Community Relations Department, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, I am Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, Chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It's that time of year again, and we wish you a safe and happy holiday season. To ensure a happy holiday season, please remember safety first. When you go shopping, please be observant of your surroundings at all times. To ensure a safe holiday season with your family and friends in the home, choose decorations that are flame resistant. If you buy a live tree, be sure it's fresh and keep it watered. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all. Hello, I'm Douglas County Sheriff Tim Pounds. We're ending the 2018 holiday season. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office wants to ensure that both citizens and visitors of Douglas County have a safe, fulfilling, and joyous time of the year. When you are out shopping, keep your valuables or any possession, for that matter, out of sight. Lock your vehicles and place shopping bags in the trunk. When items are in sight, it's easy target for the thieves. As always, if you see anyone or anything suspicious, please call 911 and let someone know. If you see something, say something. Thank you and have a safe holiday season. Hello, I'm Mrs. Rochelle Robinson, Mayor of the City of Douglasville. It is that time of year again. Soon we'll be sharing a table with those dearest to us, traveling to visit with people we haven't seen in a while, or volunteering our time to serve those in need. Whatever the case, we are in full-fledged holiday mode. With that in mind, please remember the spirit of the season. As traffic gets heavier, especially by the mall, I want to, you to urge everyone to remember patience and maintain your holiday cheer when running errands and doing your holiday shopping. So, from my family to yours, I wish you a blessed holiday season with loved ones. May God bless you and may God bless the city of Douglasville. Thank you. Hello, I'm T. Sparks of the Douglasville Police Department. As we enter the 2018 holiday season, the Douglasville Police Department wants to ensure that both citizens and visitors to Douglasville have a safe, fulfilling, and joyous time of year. When you are out shopping, keep valuables or any possessions, for that matter, out of sight. Lock your vehicles and place shopping bags in the trunk. When items are in sight, there are easy targets for thieves. And as always, if you see anyone or anything suspicious, Please call 911 and let someone know. If you see something, say something. Thank you and have a safe holiday season.